One in five office buildings in downtown Portland empty, according to brokers in the city, though TriMet is now moving into the neighborhood. So with this, the transit agency is moving hundreds of workers to the building one main place. They'll work there at least most of the week, all while the city's post-pandemic recovery ranks as one of the slowest in the nation. Brandon Thompson speaking with city leaders about whether this can actually help the Rose City rebound. Well, it is a step, Jeff and Elizabeth, but the state of Portland is one of the reasons TriMet moved its headquarters here. The agency's broker was able to use that 20% vacancy rate in the city to negotiate a better price here at One World Place. A celebration of the post-pandemic variety. There were times when an event like this would have been taken for granted. Just another day in Portland. Another office opening. But we have been through some hard times. Hard times that left 20% of Portland's offices vacant since the end of the pandemic. TriMet bringing 275 people back to six floors of the downtown's core. We got a very uh, advantageous um, lease deal because of the situation in downtown at the time. TriMet inked the deal last year. The agency was looking at a $44 million lease at its old office half a mile to the south. It was over 15 years, meaning about $2.9 million a year. Its new lease is $33 million over 10 years, initially costing $3.3 million, but the building manager threw in perks like 14 months free rent, moving and upgrade allowances to entice the agency to make the move. Do you think that developers need to play a part in finding leases that work for companies to come back downtown? Yeah, absolutely. I think there's a reality, right? We have a different economy than we did before, but that makes it an opportunity. The employees who will come to one main place are required to work one, two, or three days a week in person. Hone thinks that will mean downtown will need to recalibrate from the times before 2020. Of course, we're going to be challenged by the re new reality. We don't need as much space, but as we continue to add employment, as employers keep coming into downtown because of the incredible opportunities, we're going to see the city recover, grow, and surpass where it was before. So earlier this summer, TriMet did raise fares on bus and max tickets. I asked Tia York about that. She says all of that money is earmarked for system improvements and maintenance. And also, I wanted to know, are TriMet's employees taking transit down here? It's York says it's hard to say, but this new building is closer to the max line and has more bus lines around it. Also, parking is not including in this building, and that's expensive here in downtown. Live in downtown Portland, Brandon Thompson, Point Six News.